South Korea's president is promising strong, proactive military action against North Korea. This just days after Pyongyang announced it was in a state of war with the South. If there is any provocation against South Korea and its people, there should be a strong response in initial combat without any political considerations. I will trust the army's judgment, who is directly confronting North Korea. The International Business Times says a new emergency plan from South Korea's defense minister allows a preemptive strike against its northern counterpart while enhancing the country's military surveillance. And South Korea isn't alone. The U.S. is now taking action, sending stealth F-22 fighter planes to the south on Sunday. All this response after the North's recent threats to both South Korea and the U.S. CNN says the country has lashed out at the U.S.-South Korean military drills currently underway and at the tougher U.N. sanctions that were slapped on it after its latest nuclear tests in February. But the BBC points out there are few people who think the North would risk a full-blown war, adding that some are looking to one place of joint cooperation for any sign of conflict. For many people, this crossing point and the joint industrial zone behind it are the real test of North-South relations. Many believe the real warning will be any sign of change at the operation here. South Korea's foreign minister is set to meet with Secretary of State John Kerry in Washington this week to discuss this shaky situation on the Asian Peninsula. For Newsy, I'm Dan Kennedy, multiple sources, a broader view.